It's Mikkel. It's Peyton. And we're the Kachi Twins. So today we are going to be talking about our scary creeper stalker. Stalker. Stalkers. Yeah, stalkers, because we both have one. But anyways, how mine started was middle school. And at school it started, and I had a class with my stalker. I had a lot of classes with my stalker. It was just like ironic that I got classes with this kid pretty much my whole growing up in middle school and yes yeah first day I went to school for middle school I met my stalker didn't think he was creepy or, or anything. gonna be a stalker or gonna just be a stalker kid. just a normal kid that I was like oh I could be friends with anyways this stalker we're gonna say his name's Ibano <laughs> Ibano Ibano so know. that's his na nickname make for it easier okay let's we'll name do. him Caesar Okay, his name's gonna be Caesar. So my stalker's name is Caesar. Caesar, the first time I met him, he came up to me and was like, "Oh wow, you're super pretty. What's your name?" And I was like, "Oh hi, blah blah. blah. I'm Mikkel." And I was like, "What's your name?" Caesar. And so then he was just like, "Oh, can I like out of nowhere?" He was like, "Can I have your number?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't have a phone. Like me and my sisters never you had a phone. Used we used to fire have fly, a player fly. We could only call four people." Those things, you probably know what those are. Maybe not. Yeah. But anyways, we didn't have a phone, so I was like, oh, you can just add us on like my social media or something. I found on Facebook, and he direct messaged me that night and was like, hey, what are you doing? And I was just like, oh, hey. And he's That's like, when it all started. How's your day, beautiful? And I was just like, already calling you beautiful? Like, that's kind of weird. Anyways, I was just like, oh, maybe he's just being friendly. Like, oh, well, like, I'm not going to take it too serious. He was like, oh, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, nothing. And he's like, oh, did you do the homework? And I was like, oh, we didn't have homework today. And he's like, oh, okay, never mind then. I was like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. So, so then I see him the next day tomorrow. He keeps staring at me. And he, like, comes over and tries to talk to me. He's like, so what are you doing today? I was like, oh, just going to go home. And he's like, where do you live by? And I was like, oh, near, like, this park, like, in like the this area next to an elementary school yeah next to an elementary school and he's like oh cool I live near there too and I was like oh cool nice for you got a DM again that night from him saying hey I was like what's up and he's like do you do your homework I'm like is this kind of kid gonna know that I don't do my dang homework like I don't do my homework so I was just like oh I didn't do my homework again tonight he's like Oh, okay, um, so I just wanted to let you know you're really beautiful, and I was like, oh, like, thanks, and he was just like, I really like looking at you in class, and I was like, uh, uh, and he was just like, okay, see you tomorrow, so then the next day passes, he, he has his homework on my desk, and I was just like, what is, why is his homework on my desk, and his name was on it, Caesar, his name was on it. And I was just like, oh, okay, nice. Like, oh, I got homework. Like, I can co like, copy Excited his homework. Excited girl. Yeah. God. But anyway, so then I copied his homework. He's like, oh, you're welcome. He comes with next to me and goes, you're welcome. And takes it back. And I was like, oh, thanks. I didn't ask for it, but thanks. And he's like, no problem. Like, oh, if you ever need homework, just let me know. And I was like, okay. So then he started to DM me. And I have the DM messages still. He goes, I know someone that likes you want to know who. Caesar. Caesar. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, blank, blank, all my friends say yes or no. It was one of his friends, he said, I guess. I Wait, go, what? like, I can't say the name. Oh. But so then he goes, tell me yes or no if you want to go out with him. And then, like, maybe the next day I said, nah, I'm good. He goes, would you go out with me if I was single? I go, no, sorry. And he goes, it's okay. And then, Maybe two weeks later, he DM'd me again. Like, I would still say hi to him in class and stuff, but I was just like, I'm not gonna... He wasn't that creepy to me yet. Then he goes, so how's Griffin doing? He made up a fake kid to act like he imaginary. was Griffin. To act like he was Griffin. So it was like imaginary him. So Just so he could talk to me. So he, like, made up this guy, like, to act like he... That this guy liked me, but it was really him. So he goes, so how's Griffin doing? And I go... Who is Griffin? And I don't know who Griffin is, so I wouldn't like him. Like, I don't know who that is. And he goes, it's okay, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I go, what are you talking about? He goes, he stares at you in class, and he likes to look at you, and he likes the smell of you. And I go, heck 
heck no, I don't like him, he's disgusting, because I was just trying to go with, like, the play, I don't know if he was kidding or not, so I was like, hell no, I don't like him, he's disgusting, and he goes, he's only disgusting, he likes your butthole, and I go, oh, creepy, can you please stop messaging me, You're, you stare at me in class, and this kid, one of his friends, named Gershom, and you tell him you have a boner, and it's disgusting, you know that's you. Uh, and he, I go, you know that's you, that kid that you keep saying is gripping. He says, what the F, I don't stare at you. And I said, not what everyone else is telling me, I always catch you. He goes, I only stare at you when you look beautiful, which is every day. And I go, oh, okay, um, thanks, but can you please stop messaging me? And he goes, oh, the person I met wasn't Griffin, it was Kate. And I go, who is this Kate kid? Again, here he goes making up names, just to like, act like it's him. Then he goes, then I stop texting him and stop like replying to all his messages and I see him in class and he's still staring at me like I stopped talking to him because he just gave me like the heebie-jeebies and I was like younger so I kind of got freaked out. So then he's made up another name a month later and texted me and goes, Blade's parents know about you. I'm like, who is this Blade kid? Who is Blade? Like, I don't know a Blade. There's no Blade in my class. There's no one that I know named Blade. That's so I was like, who's Blade? He goes, oh, a friend of mine. And I was like, a friend of yours? Who? And he's like, oh, just a friend of mine. And I was like, oh, cool. He goes, can he have your number? And I go, remember, I don't have a phone. He goes, oh, well, um, maybe I can just have them, like, Facebook you or something. And I was just like, okay, you can add me on Facebook, whatever. So then he goes, he's acting like this Blake kid, like I said, is another person, but this Blake kid is actually him. And so then he goes, he, his mom w was going to ask you to call you tonight. I go, what do you mean his mom? Like, why are you bringing his mom into Blake's this situation? Mom. Yeah. Which so he's like, what? And I go, that's so awkward, lol, why? And he goes, he wants to hang out with you after school. And I go, oh, I'm busy tomorrow, or else I'd say yes. And he's like, Oh, okay, that's fine, but I go, how'd you made this Blake kid, Blake kid? And he goes, on Xbox. I go, oh, cool. And he goes, I go, why, how'd you know his mom wanted to call me or something? Like, trying to, like, have him, like, tell me this Blake kid's not real. Trying to tell me it's him. So I'm trying to, like, get, persuade him to tell me it's him. So I go, how does his mom want to call me? Like, why does she know me? And he goes, oh, his mom's on Xbox and she's super loud. She says her name a lot. I go, Oh, that's weird, lol. Like, he goes, we all make fun of him. I go, what do you mean, make fun of him? He goes, because he makes fun of me for um, liking you. And I say he doesn't have a chance with you and to go back to his other girls, and that's all he talks about every day. And I go, oh, like, trying to say, like, trying to say this kid, my stalker, Caesar, has mental issues. So I go, oh, I thought he has mental issues, lol. He goes, Hashtag I blame. Yeah. And he goes, I don't think so. I go, oh, I thought he does. I'm pretty sure he does. So I'm try kind of being mean, which is, like, me not good. He goes, <laughs> well, he hates me and the other that were making fun of him. I go, oh, who's the other people making fun of him? He's like, me and my other friends, too. I go, oh, cool. And he goes, he's thermal. What the heck does thermal mean? Temperature? Yeah, like, oh, is he hot? Is he hot? So I go, oh. And he goes, so how's Griffin doing? He texted me a month later saying... So how's Griffin doing? And I said, I don't talk to him. Like, why are you, like, saying Griffin? Like, I don't know who Griffin is. We all know you're Griffin. Like, please stop messaging me. I go, you're really starting to creep me out. Like, I don't feel comfortable, like, with you DMing me and, like, talking to me. And so he goes, oh, okay. And, like, stop texting me for about, like, that whole rest of the school year. Then another year came. And it was about, for me, about to be going into high school. And he goes, so are you going to Coronado? How haven't talked to this stalker kid Caesar in a while and all of a sudden he's trying to text me again I was like oh no this is not happening again so then he goes are you going to Coronado I was like yeah and he goes Griffin told me still going on with this Griffin guy so I, he goes he talked about you non-stop the other day and I go what are you talking about this Griffin kid is you I told you I told you to stop messaging me and stop doing that stuff because it's really creeping me out and I don't like it it makes me very uncomfortable and he goes H you want to hear what he said and I didn't reply and he goes that you liked him back and he has a really big chance with you and he wanted to get inside you and was gonna ask you soon and I just stood there and laughed I go ew please stop like, like 30 W's yeah 
And I go, ew, please stop, you're a weirdo, can you please just leave me alone? And so then he said, I know. And I, he goes, maybe this, he... You didn't reply. Yeah, I didn't reply, but then he started to say this again, maybe a week ago or two. He goes, what does DM mean? He's been DMing me the whole time, he's just trying to get an excuse to talk to me. So he goes, what does DM mean? And I was just, I didn't reply, so I blocked him. So then now I'm just like, hey, this kid is annoying. But what's weird is my sister's stalker. That's the end of my stalker story. No, no, I'll tell. I'll oh, my stalker. I didn't know he was a stalker. I thought he was just like flirting with me, had a crush on me, or whatever. And so he would flirt with me every day in school. But he would like start to touch me, like, because he sat right behind me. And I would have to like talk to him because I would pass the papers back. And he would touch my hair. He'd call me Goldilocks. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I don't even know what Goldilocks means. Like, what is that? So then I was like, what, what is Goldilocks? He goes, oh, don't worry. And then he would like twirl his hair, like hit with his finger on my hair. Ew, like curly fries. <laughs> oh, what the heck, curly fries. Anyway, and so then I got home and, and so then I got that message and he was like, let me read it. He goes, hey, and I said, nothing back. And then he said, hey, uh, hey Peyton with all caps. And I still don't reply and he goes, hey Peyton, do you want to be my girl? Me, I said, no thanks. And he goes, why not? And I didn't reply and I got uncomfortable in that school that day. He's like, wait, why don't you ever text me back? I was like, oh, my, my Facebook broke down. He goes, what do you mean broke down? And I didn't know what to say, so I ignored him and walked away. And I told my teacher that like he was being like starting to get like weird. And I was like, can I move seats? And so she moved me into the back of the class. And like he was like, he was like, can I go to the back of the class? I don't feel good. And he would Ew. get moved in the back too with me. And I was like, oh my God, help me. And so then my teacher, I was like, oh, of course I made another excuse. I was like, oh, I can't see the board. And I got moved to the front of the class. And so then he like left me alone. And then he texted me. He was like, did you find your binder? I was like, what do you mean? I didn't like text him back. And I was like, what the heck? Like find my binder. And I like look at my binder. And there's freaking notes in there from him Ew. saying, I love you, miss you, wish you still sat next to me, Goldie. I was Do you like, still have the notes? Uh, mine is, I think, at home. I don't know. I'll yeah, we're check. staying at a hotel recently. So. so I was like, what the heck? Goldie, like, stop calling me Goldie. And so then the next day comes by, it was like a Friday, and he texts me, he's like, come outside. And me and my sister are like, what the heck, our stalker. He's outside, and so we go outside. Oh, both of our stalkers were outside. We go outside. And our stalkers were brothers, though. Yeah, it was so weird. I was, we're, I was just about to get to that, but go ahead. Our stalkers were brothers. Like, one was big. Like, my stalker was big, had a mole on it. No, hers had a mole. Oh, Mine yeah. had a mustache, like a man. So I was frightened of him. Like, I was so scared uh, of him. Mine was but like, anyways, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Mine that. was like six foot six foot being in middle school all right so well back scary. to my story so then i went outside and me and michael were like oh heck no go back inside and so we go back inside we look through the window and we have like a ditch near our house and they're sitting on the wall and they keep like dm dm dming us like she got hit hers from caesar and yeah. he was like come outside please we're waiting for you and we saw the one, both of them, with like flowers on, behind their ears. Ew, ew. <laughs> like they were asked on us, uh, ask us on the date, and of course we were nervous back then. And there were our stalkers, so we got uncomfortable. So we like looked at each other, we were like, oh heck no, we're not going out there. And her stalker story was like combined with mine. They were both They're at the going same at the time. same time. Yeah. So we're just like telling our stalker stories, like how both of them went. But anyways, go on. Yeah, and then I started to like, like get uncomfortable, so I told my teacher again, I was like, can you please not place me next to him? And so I wouldn't get placed next to him anymore. And he would like stare at me still. And I was like, I went up to him one day. I went up to his it's like desk. Giving me chills. I went up to his it. desk. And I was like, uh, Why are you staring at me? Why do you text me? Like we're not like anything. Like I'm not gonna be your girlfriend. And of course I was like rude back then because I'm getting annoyed. And he was like, It's okay. It's okay. I understand. And he Yo. got sad. And he went to the bathroom. And then he came back with like tissues in his hand and he was pretending like he was crying. Well, that was the moral of our story that we, our creeper stalkers were brothers. Yes. So, it's not ironic that we both got brothers that were stalkers, but they still probably are still stalking us because I unblocked them today 
and I get weird cat emojis. Um, if I get any more, we'll make a second video and let you guys know what's going to be happening. But we hope you guys don't come after us. Please don't because we do not... Caesar! Stop. That. Like, is that just like a creepy name that we just right. made Caesar? Stop. Oh, ew. He like, comes knocking on our he door. He comes under the bed. Hey, it's Caesar. Well, that was our story. So please give us a thumbs, thumbs up, up and keep subscribing to us. And we'll see you guys next week on Stay Posh by Kashi.